Hello, Virgos. Hello to all of the Virgos out there. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Welcome to Visions of Light and Love. I am a little behind on my readings. I am currently on vacation, so I am going to try to do the best that I can while I can. <laughs> so first off, um, <clears throat> some of you may be going through some type of heartbreak or argue, arguments or I'm seeing heartbreak or arguments surrounding stability in a union. Okay. See my dog up there. But um, I also see that you are being strong at this time. Some of you may be doing with a Leo. Some of you may be wearing your heart on your sleeves or your person is. Remember, this is tarot, so energy could be vice versa. Apply the energy as it fits to your, your story. But that is what I'm seeing. Crawling, arguments, heartbreak surrounding the stability of a relationship. Someone here may want to be in a relationship and the other person does not. Okay, Virgos, and I see that you're trying to be strong because some of you may be dealing with a player, okay? I'm seeing a player energy here, and something here may have been illuminated to you pertaining to this person. Like, I feel like it was illuminated to you that this person is a player. Could be a Cancer or a Pisces or a Scorpio. And with this death card, you may want to put an end to this union and the other person now that you have found out who they are and what they're doing, they want to try to um, bring forth some stability here. Yeah. Six of Pentacles. So someone here could be juggling. This person could be telling you that they're working multiple jobs or um, they don't really have time to engage in this um Union or past energy, they could have told you in the past that they were not able to engage in the union or take the relationship to a higher level of commitment due to them working. And you were like, no, I'm uncertain about this. I feel like you had secrets going on. You're keeping me in the dark about some things. And you took control of your part in the relationship and decided to put an end to it. Okay, I'm seeing um, Aries energy here as well as Cancer Pisces energy. Taurus energy is here as well. Okay, so again, something may have been illuminated to you, which caused you to overthink the situation. I feel like some of you were holding on. You were trying to save face by... Um, you know, continuing on in something that you knew you should have walked away from because it was causing you to feel overwhelmed, like you were not feeling yourself. Comment in the comment section below and let me know. But now I see a new stable beginning coming in for you. Some of you may also be coming into some money or you may be offered a new position at work, a higher position or a new job. You and this person may not be talking to each other at this time. I'm, I'm, I'm seeing that or feeling that as well. Okay. This person may be coming in. So you may have cut this person off and now they're coming back in to reconcile. Okay. With their six of cups and queen of wands, this person is coming back in. They can't get you off of their mind. They're ready to have be honest. They're ready to have a conversation. Yeah. However, I feel like they still may have a little deceptive energy going on. Like they may have to sneak away from someone else to come towards you to make this love connection, to speak their mind, to let you know that they want give and take reciprocity and a higher level of commitment. Yeah. Libra Taurus energy. They're ready to nurture the situation so that things can grow. Could be a Capricorn. I feel like this person is going to walk away from someone else and leave them single. Could They could have been with a karmic person 
with this double card coming out. Someone who may be manipulative, have addictions, overindulging things. This person is tired of being alone, tired of being in situations like that. Yeah. And I feel like they were up at night um, feeling like you have detached your emotions from them. And they want to come home. Ten of Cups. This person wants to come home. I feel like they do love you. There's lots of emotion here. There is lots of emotion here. Okay. Cards still falling on the floor. <laughs> yeah, they're going to message you and let you know that they they decided to stabilize this and that they just they are going to ask you to um give them a second chance if you can see that could be a scorpio but that's what they're going to do they want a second chance at this they have regrets and they've decided that you are their person they don't want to give up on this love that they have for you okay yeah, they know your worth. They know what you bring to the table. They know your value. And again, they're ready for a second chance at love. So that's good. If you, um, they're ready to work this out, put the work in because they love you. And they are going to be with this will, will card traveling towards you. Could be a Sagittarius or a Pisces. I, I see this person traveling towards you to bring in balance. Libra's energy is here. This person has done some deep reflecting. And because they were able to walk away from someone else whom they were playing games with, they're ready to come back towards you. They're going to come in with gifts, food, wine, flowers. Because they're they want to this person is a charmer. Yeah, they want to move forward. They've put their um they've put their um their thought into this and this person they, they want to move forward. They're not thinking about moving on anymore. They want to move forward. I'm looking at this Queen of Swords with the wine down. So this is a person that has decided on moving forward. Yeah, traveling towards you, the world card at the bottom of the deck. Okay. Let's see, any other cards? Any other messages? Okay, let's see. Why are my cards mixed up? Yeah, this person was feeling anxious without you. They felt like a fool. And now, again, they're ready to take that leap of faith, ready to step out and take the risk to have this new beginning, this new passionate beginning. This person has a lot of passion for you as well as a lot of love. I see this person being very intuitive. But they definitely had secrets. And look, even at the bottom of the deck, the King of Cups, more love. Lots of emotion is here. And I feel like it's both ways. It's for both, between both of you. So I am going to leave it at that, Virgos. This is your reading for the energy in May. The second week to be exact. Comment below. Let me know if this is your story. Share, like, subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Be safe. Um, I'm sending you love, light, peace, and healing energy. Thank you for watching. Enjoy the rest of your week. Don't forget to thumbs up if you haven't. Um, enjoy the rest of your week, and I will see you next time. Bye.